Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to boot your Windows XP computer into safe mode. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So whether you're able to boot into Windows XP or not, it doesn't really matter. But when your computer is booting up, you want to tap the F8 key repeatedly on your computer as the computer is just beginning to boot up. So I'm going to actually just go ahead and restart my computer here. And as the computer is shutting off and it's right about to hit the boot or UEFI screen, I'm going to start tapping the F8 key on my keyboard repeatedly. And you don't have to hit your keyboard too hard, just very, you know, softly, that's fine. Just tap it, you know, in, I would say, every, you know, fraction of a second. Just start tapping it repeatedly on your keyboard. And then it should come up with Windows Advanced Options menu. Please select an option. So you can select anything from safe mode, safe mode networking, or safe mode with a uh, command prompt. I usually do safe mode with networking, it doesn't really matter. In your case, if you're just trying to do general troubleshooting or uninstall program, you just might go into safe mode here, just general classic safe mode. So just use your arrow keys to navigate and then hit enter on your keyboard to make the, whatever selection you choose. And just give it a moment to go ahead and get the Windows files ready for you. And it says Windows is running in safe mode. So special diagnostic mode of Windows enables you to fix problem, which may be caused by your network or hardware settings. Make sure these settings are correct in control panel, and then try starting Windows again. When in safe mode, some of your devices might not be available. To proceed to work in safe mode, click yes. If you prefer to use System Restore to restore your computer to a previous state, click no. So I'm going to go ahead and select yes. You can run System Restore if you choose to do so, but the today's tutorial was just getting you guys into safe mode here. So pretty straightforward process, and if you want to exit safe mode when you're done, just select Start, turn off computer, and then restart. And there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward process. Do a pause, it will help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.